Born as Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov on the 22nd of April 1870 in Simbirsk, now Ulyanovsk, Lenin was the third of eight children. His early life was marked by the influence of his parents, Ilya Nikolaevich Ulyanov and Maria Alexandrovna Ulyanova. Ilya, a former serf, had risen to middle-class status and was a dedicated educator, while Maria was the well-educated daughter of a Swedish Lutheran mother and a Russian Jewish father who had converted to Christianity. The Ulyanov family was monarchist and leaned towards liberal conservatism. However, tragedy struck when Lenin's elder brother Alexander was executed for plotting against Tsar Alexander III. This event deeply affected young Lenin, pushing him towards revolutionary socialist politics. Lenin's academic journey began at the Simbirsk Classical Gymnasium, where he excelled. However, after his father's death and his brother's execution, he renounced his belief in God and became confrontational. He entered Kazan University to study law, but was soon expelled for participating in anti-government protests. This expulsion led him to the family estate in Kokushkino, where he immersed himself in revolutionary literature, notably Nikolai Chernyshevsky's What is to be Done. By 1889, the Ulyanov family had moved to Samara. Here, Lenin delved deeper into Marxism, translating Marx and Engels's The Communist Manifesto into Russian. He rejected the agrarian socialist Narodnik movement's views, which believed in bypassing capitalism through peasant communes and instead embraced the Marxist perspective of a proletariat-led socialist revolution. In St. Petersburg by 1893, Lenin became a senior Marxist activist. His activities led to his arrest in 1897, resulting in a three-year exile to Siberia. During this time, he married Nadezhda Krupskaya, after his exile, Lenin moved to Western Europe, becoming a significant theorist in the Marxist Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, RSDLP. By 1903, he played a pivotal role in the RSDLP's ideological split, leading the Bolshevik faction against the Mensheviks. Lenin's vision was clear, transform the First World War into a Europe-wide proletarian revolution. This belief was rooted in his Marxist conviction that such a revolution would overthrow capitalism and usher in socialism. His moment came with the 1917 February Revolution, which ousted the Tsar. Lenin returned to Russia and played a leading role in the October Revolution, where the Bolsheviks overthrew the provisional government. Once in power, Lenin's Bolshevik government initially shared authority with other socialist factions. However, by 1918, power was centralized in the Communist Party. Lenin's administration brought significant changes, land redistribution to the peasantry, nationalization of banks and industries, and withdrawal from the First World War through a treaty with the Central Powers. The Red Terror marked this period, a violent campaign against opponents led by state security services. The Russian Civil War, which lasted from 1917 to 1922, saw Lenin's administration defeat both right- and left-wing anti-Bolshevik forces. The Polish-Soviet War of 1919-1921 was another significant conflict during his rule. To address wartime devastation, famine and uprisings, Lenin introduced the new economic policy in 1921, promoting economic growth. The same year saw the formation of the Soviet Union, forcibly reuniting several non-Russian nations with the Russian Republic. Lenin's health began deteriorating and he passed away on the 21st of January 1924 in Gorky. His death marked the end of an era, but his influence persisted. Despite the wishes of his widow, Nadezhda Krupskaya, Lenin's body was embalmed and placed on public display in a mausoleum in Red Square, where it remains to this day.